up, gentlemen? So it's summertime here. I thought we'd do a quick video talking a little bit about the short wearing rules all stylish men should follow. Before we get into them, I need to tell you two things. Number one, I shave my legs. You are so gay. Exactly. I can already see the comments coming. I started shaving my legs like 20 years ago. I was a bodybuilder and I just kept shaving them and now I like it better and so suck it. Second thing I want you to know up front is something that I am incredibly insecure about. One of my calves is much smaller than the other one. The reason is because 10 years ago, I completely ruptured the Achilles tendon on my one leg. They reattached it with like Kevlar. It doesn't matter how many calf raises, single calf raises, seated calf raises, it doesn't want to grow. And so my calf is small and I'm insecure about it. Just wanted to throw it out there. Gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the five short wearing rules that all stylish men should follow, in my opinion. Because wearing shorts can be a little dicey if you don't know what you're doing. The first and absolute, hands down, doesn't get any more important rule for wearing shorts and looking incredible is you got to nail the length. Now, unfortunately, I can't say buy a 10 inch, buy a 6 inch, you need this. It's all about balancing your body. So really more importantly than what size or length inseam you're buying in shorts, it's really just about how tall you are versus how long the shorts are. You want to always make sure that you've got one to three inches of skin above your knee. These shorts are a 10 inch inseam, but me, because I'm five foot six, they come down super long. It makes my legs look even shorter than they actually are, which is already short. Now, check this out. Look what happens when I folded them up. Exactly. It made my legs look a lot more proportionate and me a bit better because now I've got about an inch above my knee. The other reason aesthetically why you need to make sure that those shorts are not too long is because the longer the short, the smaller your calves look. Failing the length of your short is critical. Now you got a bunch of shorts that are a little bit too long. Does this mean you got to just trash them and start over? Hell no. Don't throw those shorts out just because they're a little bit long. All you got to do is cuff them up. The hem will be your guide. So you cuff it up there right and then you just do it again make sure that it's even all the way around and again that's three and if you want to you could literally go four right boom cuffing your shorts is totally in style and it looks in my opinion kind of casual cool now if you don't like the look no problem you can always take your shorts to the tailor and get them hem bringing us to the second most important rule of wearing shorts which is you gotta nail the fit all right gentlemen what do you think about these shorts do you like them? Do they look good on me? Do they make me look tall and muscular? Or do they make me look even shorter, even more dumpy? The poor little calf even smaller, exactly. The reason is because they're too long and they're too baggy. Instead, or do I look better in these? The answer is Alpha, you look better in those. Why? Let me break it down. The length. These are an eight and a quarter inseam. Also, the legs, they're tailored. They're not big and baggy, making me appear taller, making me appear more muscular, and my legs just look more aesthetic. These shorts are as close to perfection as it gets. They're from today's video sponsor, Public Rec, but I abso freaking love them. The reason is because as far as shorts go, they're sexy. They're not too long, they're not too big, they're not too baggy, they're also crazy comfortable. The Workday Short by Public Rec is absolute perfection. The fabric is some like spandex polyester blend and so it's super stretchy. It doesn't lose its color which is one of the things I love so much about the all day everyday pant. These aren't your daddy's shorts. These shorts are stylish, they're comfortable, they're super high quality and premium. This polo also not your daddy's polo because it's also from Public Rec. Public Rec goes into the details making sure that all of their clothing is amazing in terms of quality. If you guys missed the video I did talking about how to spot high quality clothing guys there's a link down below public rec spares no expense when it comes to making their clothing fit incredible feel amazing and look super badass kind of like this badass henley guys if you haven't checked out public rec there's a link down below go and check them out if you liked any of the items that i'm wearing or you want to go and see all the other badass things they have guys there's also a discount code public rec clothing isn't fast fashion they spend time money and energy making sure their garments are going to last and look great for years and so if you're somebody who likes a higher quality product i will link and list everything down below along with that discount code. If you go and you see something that you dig, make sure to grab it. Like, don't wait because they typically will sell out fairly fast because the stuff is ridiculous. Third, short wearing rule every stylish man should know is never wear socks. That show. All right, guys. So unless you want your sneakers or shoes to smell 
disgusting, you gotta make sure that you have some type of protection between the inside of your shoe and your foot, all right? A perfect no-show sock is one of your best friends in summer and critical for shorts. The Gap is my pick for the best budget-friendly no-show socks that don't suck. The reason is because there is ample amount of silicone on the heel so it doesn't fall down and there's enough coverage up top, right on the top of your foot because that's the other issue, is that in summer when it's hot, when it's sweating, you get a lot of friction and if you're wearing a no-show sock that exposes a lot more of the top of your foot, you tend to get irritated and your feet sweat like crazy. The fourth rule is don't be afraid to wear a little bit of color. Guys, colorful shorts is an amazing way to add a little color and variety into your wardrobe. For me, I probably would not wear a teal colored pair of chinos or pants, but with shorts, because there's not quite so much fabric, it's the perfect option. In summertime, you just can't go wrong with experimenting and playing around with some fun patterns, fun colors. It's gonna set you apart from all your friends. But this does bring us to the fifth rule. If you are going with a bright colorful short or a pattern short, you wanna make sure that the top and your shoes are pretty subdued. You don't wanna get into a bunch of patterns. So so here's an example. Check it out. If I were going to wear camo shorts, I would definitely make sure that the top and the sneakers were super subtle and super subdued because wearing busy shorts with a busy shirt and busy shoes just throws it off and looks a little bit awkward and odd. In my opinion, guys, you can never go wrong with a fun, colorful, or patterned pair of shorts and a simple top, simple shoes. And that's it. Five short wearing rules every guy should follow this summer. Number one, you gotta make sure the length is right. Number two, the fit should be slim, not super baggy. Number three, don't let those socks show. Number four, you gotta play around with color. And number five, don't wear shirts like this. In my opinion.